All right, welcome back everyone. This is Peter, UC Energy Tech Lead and also an ex-CTO Tech Lead, Federal Tech Scientist for more than 10 years. Battery pack used in electrical vehicles are equipped with liquid cooling technology for years, while the similar tech to be used in battery energy storage systems left far behind, and is only observed in recent time. For example, Tesla power pack used dual coolant and refrigerant loop systems as thermal control. BYD Q Pro follows up in a similar way. Another battery manufacturer giant, CATL, Cattile, uh, also announced its liquid cooling battery energy storage system, Enerone. CATL Enerone battery energy storage systems was firstly released early 2020. In fact, this product have been delivered and installed with quite a number of projects all over the world. To my understanding, this liquid cooling BESS would be the direction since it can save a lot for EPC in terms of cost in transportation, installation period, and integration with grid. To replace the previous containerized battery energy storage solution. Since for the traditional design, the heat, ventilation, air conditioning systems, so-called HVAC, and fire separation systems are separately installed in the container. Among them, large amount of cables and communication components need to be handled to meet up certain regulation and outdoor level applications. And now all this complicated stuff can be integrated into one. Let's look into it and see what advantages really are in CATO Enerone. CATO redesigned the battery pack and make it more compact to achieve higher energy density. And the engineers from CATO integrate the uniform the heat dissipation for better performances. This will ensure the temperature being actually controlled within each pack. This is essential for battery since battery lifespan is very sensitive to temperature. And the most comfortable temperature range for battery is 25 to 35 degrees Celsius. We double check on the webpage. The cell used for the N1 is RFP 280 mph which has cycle life more than 8,000. And the entire single rack gives total energy of 370 kilowatt hour. When carrying out the project overseas and in a large scale, say a few tens of megawatt hour, the cost in transportation, land area, and maintenance will make differences. Traditionally, battery module, rack frame, and con container have to be delivered individually to the target place. Now, only one-time transportation is required due to the merit of the all-in-one design. When it comes to installation, anyone makes it happen more efficiently and see how much more land area can be saved. The all-in-one design makes it possible to simplify the maintenance work after service persons will not need to get into the container but work in a comfortable area to conduct the maintenance work. And also, due to the integrated design, the efficiency of the HVAC system and the other auxiliary power increased largely. Energy consumption can be saved up to 30% and cooling power can be saved up to 29%. Last but not least, the module design make it versatile. Constructing an energy storage system will be as easy as building a Lego block making it very convenient to establish distributed energy storage network. For me, I'm very excited to the technology in advance, and I cannot wait to embrace the day with renewable energy flow connecting everyone from anywhere. All right, this is Peter, UZ Energy Tech Lead and also an ex CATO Tech Lead, better tech scientist for more than 10 years. If you like our content, please click like button and subscribe it. See you in the next one. Bye.